key findings from the 2013 Nigeria Demographic and Health Survey. The 2013 NDHS was implemented by the National Population Commission. ICF International provided financial and technical assistance for the survey through the USAID funded Measure DHS program. Financial support for the survey was provided by USAID, the United Kingdom Department for International Development through Parts 2 and the United Nations Population Fund. The 2013 NDHS is the fifth demographic and health survey to be carried out in Nigeria. 38,522 households, 38,948 women, and 17,359 men aged 15 to 49 were successfully interviewed. The 2013 NDHS provides estimates at the national level, urban rural areas, for each of the six zones, for each of the 36 states, and the Federal Capital Territory. The results of the 2013 NDHS show that some progress has been made in Nigeria over the last five years. Infant mortality is the probability of a child dying in the first year of life. The infant mortality rate has decreased from 100 deaths per 1,000 life births in 2003 to 69 deaths per 1,000 life births in 2013. This means that currently one in every 15 children in Nigeria does not survive to his or her first birthday. Under 5 mortality is the probability of a child dying before the fifth birthday. Under 5 mortality has also decreased in Nigeria from 201 deaths per 1,000 life births in 2003 to 128 deaths per 1,000 life births in 2013. This means that currently one in every eight children dies before his or her fifth birthday. Another area where Nigeria has made progress is malaria prevention. Currently, half of households have at least one insecticide treated mosquito net or ITN. Children under age five and pregnant women are the groups most vulnerable to malaria. 17% of children under age 5 slept under an ITN the night before the survey, an increase from just 1% in 2003. In addition, 16% of pregnant women slept under an ITN the night before the survey, which also increased from just 1% in 2003. However, there are still areas for improvement. The 2013 NDHS shows that Nigeria still has work to do in order to reach the 2015 Millennium Development Goals. Just 15% of currently married women in Nigeria are using a method of contraception. This rate has remained unchanged since 2008. Another area in need of improvement is reproductive health. Pregnant women need health care to ensure their health and well-being, as well as that of their children. 6 in 10 Nigerian women with a birth in the 5 years before the survey received some antenatal care from a skilled provider, such as a doctor, nurse, midwife, or auxiliary nurse or auxiliary midwife. However, this proportion has remained essentially unchanged since 2003. Less than 40% of births in Nigeria are assisted by a skilled provider. Similar to antenatal care, there has been nearly no change in delivery assistance since 2003. As you can see, the 2013 Nigeria Demographic and Health Survey provides a wealth of information about the population and the health situation in Nigeria. Results of this survey show where progress has been made as well as areas for improvement. The 2013 NDHS provides data for program managers and policymakers to use when making evidence-based decisions to improve the health and well-being of all Nigerians. For additional information on the results of the 2013 NDHS, please contact the National Population Commission in Nigeria or the DHS program.